Okay guys, welcome to Top 10 Mods Part 3. If you haven't seen Part 2 or 1, I would highly recommend checking those out before you watch Part 3. Part 2 and 1, there are links in the description, so if you guys would like to check those out, you can. But, going to give this video a thumbs up. I hope you guys all are having a fantastic day. I'm going to go ahead and quit my rumbling. Remember, all these mods are in my opinion. And go ahead and enjoy Top 10 Mods Part Number 3. Okay, so here is the Animal Bikes mod. The Animal Bikes mod allows you to ride all animals in the game and a little more mobs that they add into the Animal Bikes mod itself. So here I'm riding a Wither. Yes, this Wither is actually not killing me. I'm actually riding it. Here is an Easter Bunny. Um, that actually drops little TNT things, so that's that's pretty cool. Here's a reindeer. Awesome, awesome. I can ride reindeers. That's pretty cool. Silverfish, yes, that is something you can do. You can ride silverfish, so you guys better download this mod now because you can ride a silverfish. Who doesn't want to ride a silverfish? Here's a Chinese dragon that I can ride. It would be pretty cool if you could fit multiple people on this dragon. That would be cool because it's really long, you know? And then the one and only, the Ender Dragon that I am riding. I have tamed this bad boy. I'm riding it right now. So yeah, that's basically what the mod does. It's called the Animal Bikes mod. It allows you to ride all animals and a couple um, mods or animals that it adds in like this flower, which is kind of weird. That's going to do it for the Animal Bikes mod. Next, we have the Necromancy mod. The Necromancy mod um, allows you to slay animals, take their body parts, and create your own animal. So it's kind of like Frankenstein. So you need a soul in a jar and a jar of blood and you need a necromancy table, then you'll need a head of some sort, legs of some sort, torso of some sort, and two arms, they don't have to be the same arms. And then you will throw them onto this table with your soul in a jar and your jar of blood. You need your two arms, your torso, and then your legs, and then your head, and you can see your creation on the table. And then go ahead and shift click to create your bad boy. You can create as many of them as you want. I'm actually in creative mode, so I can create like 100 if I wanted to right now. But I think if you're in survival mode, you can like only create one. But then again, I don't know, because I've never tried to create something in survival mode. Um, with the, the with this mod, but it is pretty cool. So these guys are pretty freaky and this uh, the spider leg guys are extremely fast and it kind of scares me But they will teleport to you, which is also pretty weird So that's going to do it for the necromancy mod next we have the Archimedes ship mod. So this is a pretty great mod um, It includes you creating your own ship so you can basically turn a little raft that you made That's not moving into a moving ship or an airship if you use the balloon So you can see that's the status the type and how many blocks it is um, you can also rename it and stuff. So this this ship right here, I believe, is 51 blocks. That does not look like 51 blocks at all. But it is, believe it. Uh, the max you can do, I believe, is 2,048 blocks. So don't get too excited going and into your Minecraft world and creating a million uh, block yacht. And then saying, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna assemble this yacht and I'm going to make it fly or something crazy like that. No, it's not going to happen because the max you can do is 2,048 blocks. So... Unfortunately, you can't do a yacht that big in the background. Yes, I actually did try it. It didn't work, unfortunately. But here's the airships. You can see there is a balloon at the top. You can change the color of the balloons. It doesn't necessarily have to be that pinkish color. You can do green, orange, whatever color floats your boat. But something cool with this mod is if you took it into multiplayer and then you PvP'd with it. So you had two teams that made big airships and you just PvP'd in the sky. I think that would be awesome to see. And that is on my Minecraft bucket list. Okay, so in our next spot, we have the Delic mod. The Delic mod is pretty cool. It is a Doctor Who experience, and the layout screen to this, or the menu screen, I should say, is pretty freaking awesome. So this mod is something awesome, something that I would actually like to play myself one day, something that I would like to download, sit down, maybe get on multiplayer with a couple friends and actually play because this does look like a very interesting mod. So you can travel new worlds, battle new bosses, and um, become the best time lord of your server. There is many, many planets to travel to. I think there's like three or four four planets that you can travel to which is pretty awesome there's tons of blocks tons of mobs so i don't think you will be getting bored anytime soon with this mod next in our number six spot we have the th thumb craft i'm just gonna say thumb craft i'm probably saying it wrong i am sorry if i am please do not get offended please do not hate me if i say it wrong i say it wrong but this mod is awesome you can see that there adds a lot of stuff tons of blocks just tons and tons of new items basically this mod is apparently all about magic and reshaping it to perform miracles 
um, like drawing magic from physical objects and reshaping it to perform miracles. Um, this is a mod that I would have to sit down and take some time to look at. If you guys are into mods like this, of course this is for you, but I don't think it's really for me. I'm not into the mods like this. If you guys are into mods like this, of course this is a mod for you and you probably have everything. You know all about it by now. But um, yeah, this is also a mod that I would have to sit down and take a look at and actually play one day because it does look like a lot of fun. So that's going to do it for that mod. Our next mod is going to be the one and only the Crafting Dead mod, also known as the Walking Dead. So here we have the one and only the Walking Dead, like I said. Amazing, amazing mod. You can spawn in your world. Multiplayer is also very fun. They have their own official servers for this mod. So you can actually go and play on with your friends. You don't have to like make your own server or anything. They already have official servers that you can play and meet your friends on, which is pretty cool. So they have things that you can collect. You can get guns. Once you get really far into the game, it can get a lot of fun. You can upgrade armor and such things, get a lot of weapons. There is a load and load of items in this game so here i have a weapon that i've gotten is called a m240 it has 125 uh, round mags which is pretty insane and good for killing masses and masses so there is grenades there is mres there is tons of guns there's snipers there's heavy machine guns there's pistols there's shotguns there's i mean everything you can imagine claymores it's the walking dead take the walking dead take a zombie apocalypse survival game and shove it into minecraft and that's what it is and that's why walking dead is awesome so in our next spot we have the lucky block mod most of you guys probably know what this is but it is a mod that adds in these lucky blocks that you can craft with gold and stuff and it allows you to place this lucky block down and either you can get really lucky, you can get in the medium, or you can get really bad luck. So you can get things that kill you, things that send you to this torture place and just rah, destroy you or something like that. Or you can get really lucky and get a lot of potions, get some super OP armor with insane enchants on it. It just kind of depends on what your fortune is. So this is a fun mod to download and play with friends. It's also getting very popular throughout the multiplayer community um, and in servers. There's been lots of game modes like uh, Lucky Block Sky Wars, Lucky Block PvP type things. I don't know. This mod has been getting really popular. I like it. It's a lot of fun. It's very simple, very easy to use. In our next spot, we have the Herobrine mod. So here is how you summon in this famous Herobrine with that little statue thing right there with two gold blocks, his special Herobrine thing, and then another piece of netherrack, and then uh, you light it, and it has lightning strike it, and it spawns in Herobrine that apparently haunts your whole entire world. He will do everything he can to scare you, kill you when you're mining, building your house. He will set cows in the desert on fire and possess them and it's creepy it's scary it's a great mod to prank your friends and it is a lot of fun coming in our next spot is going to be the flans mod the flans mod is kind of like a war mod basically so it's going to add in planes yes planes i said planes that you can fly so it's going to add in quite a bit of planes uh rockets tons and tons of guns it will also add in these uh, snipers that are really fun to play around with and the special type of robotic suits this mod is just full of ton and ton of things and i could spend hours going over it our next spot is the pixelmon mod also known as pokemon so basically this mod is going to incorporate pokemon into your minecraft yes look at this look at this i am battling pokemon pokemon right now in minecraft so Basically, if you take Minecraft and you take Pokemon and you shove them both together, this is what this mod is because you still have the free roam of Minecraft. You still have the free roam where you can go build a house. You can go do whatever you want in the Minecraft world. But then again, you also have Pokemon incorporated into that mix, which is just absolutely crazy. Honestly, I have played this with friends before. We stayed up all night playing this mod. It is so, so much fun. There's so many mobs you can battle. I believe you can even find legendaries too. We have, we, we did find some legendaries actually. Um, I don't know if it's in, uh, legendaries are still in this new update. I have no idea, but um, they do have updates on this mod very currently. So it is a lot of fun to play. I believe they also have servers for this mod too upgrade your own things you also have pokey centers so that is going to do it for the pixelmon mod
All right, guys, that is going to do it for Top 10 Mods Part 3. Hopefully, you guys all have enjoyed, and I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Go ahead and click that subscribe button if you would like to see more parts to this Top 10 Mod series. Also, I would like to know if you guys want to see a Part 4. If you do want to say a Part 4, say it in the comments because I am debating on whether I should make a Part 4 to this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. Remember, if you haven't checked out part two or one, there is a link in the description to part two and part one. I would highly recommend, guys, that you go check that out if you guys haven't seen them. But, guys, that is going to do it for top ten mods part number three. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will catch you guys later in another Minecraft video.